gather round in great young knights to hear this fable story. Adventures of the Swan Table and of Dragon Glory. In Camelot and the Gold of King Alphaya, we must confess we do our best to hide the queen's vagina. We're dragons and we're proud to say, we fight for honor and we don't get paid. We're not devils in distress, you can bet we're at our best. Blazing dragons, we will save the day. And now for my recently revised Labour Union Manifesto. Employers must have a health and safety committee in place to ensure the well-being of all employees. Hmm, a trifle undercooked. Who's up for barbecue? Employees must not work in hazardous conditions that could cause injury. I'm Tom. Ooh, look, Bernevere, the wishbone. Should a worker need to go to the bathroom during his shift, he shall be allowed to do so. About time there was a shift change. Blazing dragons! What's all that racket? There appears to be some sort of construction going on. My goodness! That's the biggest supporter pot I've ever seen. I think it's a castle, my liege. If anyone's looking for me, I'll be sunning in my new bathing costume. Oh. I've never seen anything so ghastly. Tack it, tack it. Grotesque monstrosity. I say we bag and burn it with all the other garbage. What? <laughs> Well, Knight, I can't think of a more appropriate time to inspect this poorly designed facility and demand this stranger of questionable taste adhere to our Labour Union Manifesto. And uh, let's bring housewarming gifts, shall we? Flicker, do you still have those fruitcakes that the Queen inflicts upon me each Christmas time? Ten seasons worth. Well, dig them out, man! Hello. I am Duke Rudolph of Rudy's Rollick and Romp Toy Company. How may I help? Greetings! I'm King Allfire, and these are my knights of the square table. I am Sir Lancelot. In welcome, please accept this wagon load of fruitcakes. <gasps> Queen Gretel's fruitcakes! Oh, Pooh, I wish I'd thought of that. <sighs> Don't we all? Much obliged. Now, if you don't mind, I must get back to my toys. I'm afraid not. You are in complete violation of every rule in my union manifesto. You are to cease and desist. Cheerio. Oh, I wasn't aware that you fellows were from the Labour Party. I thought you were conservatives. Do come in. I've been expecting you. Well, well jolly good then. Night. I presume refreshments and bickies will be served before the tour. Bickies? Bickies? Bickies. You know. Biscuits! Oh. Quite a security system you have here. Well, Rudy, unless we've entered the torture chamber by accident, I'm distressed with what I see. I'd be grateful for any guidance, after all. I'm just a simple toy maker. <laughs> May I ask what kind of toy this is? One that mustn't be touched! <laughs> that is, until it's past safety inspection. This is the best thing, but I'm running out of bricks. Those fruitcakes will do nicely. <gasps> What's this? That's Barry's room. It's a restricted area. Who's Barry? Blazing dragons! What was that? Just the furnace. It acts up from time to time. What's a furnace? Everything is quite suspect. Next thing you know, he'll be buttering us up with false flattery. Only a fool would fall for such easy entrapment by that bicky swindler. 
Lords and Liege, if you could recommend a crack strategic management team willing to work for enormous wages and free bickies, I would be most obliged. Let me do it! I'm king! We can do that! Ooh, pick me! Pick me! Aha! I have the perfect jobs for each of you, but now, refreshments in the main hall! <laughs> <laughs> ASS, Associate Strategic Supervisor. I wonder what tipped Rudy off to my superior leadership skills. Perhaps it was when you were wiping your feet on me, my lord. Don't you think it's a little strange that we don't even know what kind of toys Duke Rudolph is manufacturing? Honestly, Flicker, you're so self-absorbed. Bye! <laughs> Call me suspicious or just call me Flicker, but something's not right here. Oh. Blazing dragons! My liege, what have they done? It's the onions. The serfs are quite fond of them, you know. Rudy has bestowed the highest position in his firm to me. The worker's representative. Chief onion steward. You mean, you're to address each and every concern of each and every one of these serfs? I've had extensive training in this area, Squire. I am married to Queen Riddle, after all. It's a cold day in Camelot when Sir Langelot doesn't eat his food. I don't like it, Flame. I think the Duke has deliberately kept them busy so that they'll be too tired to notice the evil deed he's performing in the basement of his factory. And what about his Bari fellow that no one has ever seen? Let's investigate, Flicker. I'll go with you. Well, well, if it isn't Mr. Snoopy Pants. And who are you? Princess Flame of Camelhot. Aha! What a lovely surprise! You'll serve well as a hostage when my evil twisted plan unfolds. What plan? <laughs> That's the biggest supporter pot I've ever seen! It's not a latrine, it's a war machine! It's a behemoth artillery reinforced raiding yeoman, or Bari for short. With all the best bits of real estate already taken up, Bari is going to redevelop the land, starting with your precious camel hot, until all of Europe is mine! 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 <laughs> what on earth for? I... I... I don't know. Shut up! None of your business. Well then, do it! What are you waiting for? My power source! I need a constant supply of heat to fire the boilers, and that fire is going to be provided by your king and the knights of the square table! They'll never agree to it! Plus, they're not stupid enough to just blunder in here to suit your needs, and furthermore... Uh, Rudy old chap, blazing dragons! That's the biggest supporter part I've ever seen! <laughs> Listen up, all fire! You and your knights will use your fire to heat the boilers! Otherwise, Princess Flame shall perish! Do not harm her! We'll do as you say! <gasps> now, sit back and watch as I destroy your precious camel heart! Flicker! Tin Can is about to destroy our home! Fear not, Flame! Chivalry Code number 322 clearly states when the going gets rough, fight fire with fire! In other words, play dirty! <laughs> Be shall go. I will be dead. Oh. What the fruit cake? I should have known this stuff was dangerous when it wouldn't burn. Oh, good.
Pick here, anyone?